Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez here. After I finished the last video on the pattern print, I went outside to cut the front yard. And during that time, the mailman came and brought me a box. And it's from Precision Colors. I have a pretty good idea what it may be. He didn't really tell me he had shipped something to me. I suspect this might be having something to do with the Pro One ink set. Hopefully that'll be the case. Let's go ahead and have a look, see at what is in this box. Pretty sure it's ink, yep, sure thing it is. Indeed ink. And I have some, ooh, very nice test print here. Let's see what this indicates. This is not gonna be very long. We gotta get ready to go pick up the grandson from the school and we'll take him out to dinner and then deliver him to his father Canon Pro 1 Pro Luster and this is the standard print and I'm looking to see if there is a good linearity along the complete black to white ramp Nice and neutral. He obviously did not use full on the gloss optimizer setting, which I will probably do since it's only be, uh, being applied on the areas where the image exists. Other than that, it's not too bad. And uh, I will be putting it to the test. What I will do next is I will load some carts and I will revisit that for you guys so that you guys have no doubt as to how to load the PGI 29s properly let's go ahead and unload to see what else is here I think oh yeah a syringe so basically he sent me a refill kit this is what you guys would get if you were to order the complete refill kit from them of course it is lacking the cartridges which I would provide for you and you can do that right now you can order cartridges from me right about now $84 including shipping United States only I will be looking into further uh, possibilities to ship to Australia and Canada possibly even the UK it just may be a little bit more costly but if you guys really want these cartridges they're worth I guess paying the extra price for for shipping okay so from what he told me is that he has noticed that if he loads the 30 ml syringe completely with ink that is the correct amount to fill a cartridge well not really guys okay the cartridges take 40 ml of ink. In fact, possibly even a tiny bit more. Here's, here's how it breaks down. And this may be not perfect because an ml of ink may not weigh one gram. But an empty cart, devoid of ink, weighs in at 43 point, I think it's 0.4, something like that. Carts will vary, but an empty cart will weigh, let's call it 43 grams at empty so a full one brand new out of the plastic wrap weighs 84 grams so 43 subtract from 84 leaves you 41 well really it's actually officially 39 grams of ink or 39 ml of ink if you can put in another ml make it 40 then you are basically ensuring that you have at least one ml of ink left these types of ink bags and the detection system that they contain internally are very very accurate in fact all of the empties that i received they all had about six at least six four to six ml of ink still in them many of them had more and that's how i was able to extract some oem inks 
to at least load one of my sets with nothing but OEM and also load the Pro 10 carts with OEM. So 35 ml is what the syringe can pull in about maybe 36 ml. You really need a little bit more. But 36 is fine. Okay? It'll work perfectly. So that is it. That plus one of my refilling tips or his refilling tips that he also has available. I think he forgot to send me one of those. That would make the whole system complete. So I get the cards from me, get the inks from Precision Colors, and chips as well. He will have chips probably in like one to one and a half weeks. Like I said, they come from China. But his provider, in other words, the company that he deals with, um, seems to have them on hand. So I think he gets a little bit faster service than I would get. So that is it. We are ready to start testing. I like the results that he got here. Um, this is very good. This is very similar to the results I was getting on the 9500 with his new ink set for it. Much more glossier than the previous inks that he was using, especially around the areas where reds, oranges, pinks, lavenders, anything that uses magenta, it would literally be matte. So I'm going to experiment using my standard use of the Pro One, which is with full application of Chroma Optimizer, and see if I can then fill the rest of the areas of the print that do not contain images. In other words, when you choose Auto, what the driver does, it only applies Gloss Optimizer or Chroma Optimizer on top of areas that have a certain amount of density of ink. In other areas, just don't receive it. It's almost like it's creating a negative of the image and only applying it on those areas of higher density of ink. So areas that had black, they had middle, middle grays and uh, a lot of middle tones and lower tones get a lot more gloss optimizer or chroma optimizer. Areas of white don't receive anything. As you can see here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the areas where the it's just print paper background don't receive any chroma optimizer. But if you tell it to apply full, then the whole sheet will receive chroma optimizer, except for a sliver of a margin, because there is a limitation as to how far the printer can print. Now, I have not tried to use borderless settings yet, so maybe that will allow the Chrome Optimizer to actually extend beyond the edges of the paper. And that would be awesome if that's possible. All right, that is it. Great. Another great adventure awaits us. We're going to start doing this probably this weekend. I have a pretty busy weekend family-wise, but I'll try to sneak in at least the refilling of a set of carts. I have about 20 full sets that I can sell. And depending on my provider's ability to provide me with some more empties, that's going to be it. That'll be the end of that. And what I suggest you guys do is the following. Go ahead and get your Pro One. If you already have a Pro One, save those empties. Once I go through these 20, that's it. I'm not going to probably have uh, any more. I have a lot of sets that are just short one or two colors. So hopefully, after I get my next load of cards, I will be able to add this, those missing single color or two colors that I need to make them into complete sets. Then I will also have quite a few, probably a good dozen in two dozen each of matte black and also photo black cards that you can buy as extras to have. And of course, you'll have to get chips for those. Now, on the chips, there's been an update. Precision Colors couldn't get a really, really good discount. So they're going to be selling the complete set of chips for $32. Okay, so that's 12 divided into 32. Or individual chips for $3 a piece. And I will be able to get them basically at a slight discount, which means I'll have to also sell them at $3 a piece. So that's where that lies. I kind of... Um, 
was thinking that I will leave the chip business up to uh, Precision Colors and not get into that. I will buy some from him for my own use, but uh, I will not be selling chips. It just doesn't make sense for me to do so. All right, so that's it. This is looking really good. So we'll hopefully have some results within the early part of August and then I'll be able to uh, show you some side-by-side -side tests. Remember, I have to push out 16 ml of each color in order to be assured that the printer is now using the Precision Colors ink set. And don't forget, I also have the same ink set for the Pro One, but from inkjet carts, I don't have to test that as well. So, looks like a lot of work ahead. It's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully very informative to you guys, and it'll give you a lot of options to use and also remember this ink set can be used on the Pro 10 as well and he already has the ink set complete ready to go already certified and calibrated for the Pro 10 so give that a try it will just knock down your printing costs tremendously all right and the Pro 10 cars the PGI 72s are completely user resettable god I wish I could do that with the PGI 29s. It would be a perfect world if that was possible. But alas, it's not the case. And before I leave you, I'll tell you why they made that chip so uncommunicable. I just made up that word. The company that makes resetters for the Canon printers, the Red Setter Company, is actually in Germany. And it's a very small group of people. And they have not been able to crack the wall that the Pro 1 PGI-29 chips have put up. So it's uncrackable. That's why the Chinese haven't even come up with a resetter for it, but they have single-use chips instead. That may be the same route that will allow us to eventually be able to refill the Pro 1000. We don't know yet, but it's going to be the same thing. You cannot communicate with the chip, therefore you cannot create a resetter for it because for you to be able to reset a chip it has to let you in the front door okay it has to allow you into his house so to speak and that's not the case it's impossible to do so at this point all right and there simply is not i guess the interest or the um, demand by people so they're not going to spend the money and time to be able to crack that done period all right that's it so please subscribe please like and please share and as always happy printing everyone bye bye we're heading out to see my boy oh boy all right bye bye